If you're into designing websites and you want to find a cheaper option than using Figma, I found the best option. It's called Motif. It's a lot cheaper and does the same thing, but even better with its AI toolbox. I'll show you how to create this cool portfolio website in Motif. Let's check it out. So here is the back end, your dashboard, where you have unlimited personal drafts. You got favorites, you got your team project, but this is what you'll have. You can obviously go into the Motive AI playground, the basics and see how to use their tools. So they've actually given you like a little tutorial, which I think is really neat. So they've laid out everything, all these tutorials, they've got AI reduplication, AI layout, AI design system creator, the system maintainer, the consistency checker, um, generates AI as well. You can only generate with from a prompt to mobile. They don't have desktop yet, but they will be adding that in the future. They've got the magic box and then some resources to help you. So you can go in here and completely do that. I'm just gonna go back to the dashboard and create new file. You can also import files from um, Sketch and Figma if you already have a design. So I'm gonna click new file and here is the UI. It's pretty clean. It's pretty familiar if you've used other tools like Figma. I'm gonna press F for frame and I'm gonna draw out a frame. And on the right hand side, I've got all my parameters. So I can change the width. I'm gonna go 19, 20 pixels. And then I'm just gonna left click and drag the bottom to make it longer. And I'm gonna go down to my fill and change the color to a nice dark black color like this because I love using black in dark mode, it's fun. And so we've got our frame here. You can change the text with the layers on the side. So you can call this, you know, desktop. We've also got assets as well, so we can create components. You've got all your menus on the top. So you've got your shape menus, you've got the pen tool, You've got some plugins that they currently have, the yeah, Arctex, Q, Looper. You can also um, bring in Unsplash images as well. And then they've got the AI toolbox. It's currently in beta and it's completely free. You've got a whole bunch of uses. So we can do re reduplication, AI layout, which does auto layout for you and also temporary structure. You've got the AI design system creator. So it will create a whole design system based on the design you created. It will create a whole system for you. And then we've got all these other ones that work really great. You also got the AI generates UI, which we might use a little bit later on. So I'm going to go in here and start to design. So I'm going to press T for the type tool and left click. And I'm going to change the fill to a solid. And I want to pick a nice font. They've got a whole bunch of fonts. And you can actually download um, their app that allows you to use fonts from your computer. So you can see you've got some fonts here. But for now, I'm just going to use the ones they provide because I think they're pretty good. I think I'm going to pick Manrope. That's a nice font. And I'm going to start typing and then I can move it around. I'm going to do a sort of bento box style. I'm going to go to the right side and you can change your text here. We can change the letting. Let's go 50. No, nah, let's go bring it up to maybe 85, one, maybe 120. That works really well. I'm going to make a quick ellipse. Maybe this can be our logo and I'm going to change the color. We're going to go maybe for the nice green color. Cool. And everything snaps. Love that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a make a cart and then I'm just gonna round the corner so you can see just like in Adobe Illustrator we can actually round it off really easily you can go to the side and change it in the radius section you know if you want to bump that up it will apply it to everyone or you can just do the sides which is totally cool so I'm gonna do keep it on maybe I'll do 25 great so we have this one card now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add a, another box like this round it I'm gonna change the color to white and I want this card to be maybe, maybe like a gray, like this, cool. And then maybe we can have a tag at the top and then within it, I'm gonna to type some text, but it's too big. So we'll go like 25 and I'm gonna change the letting as well. And this can be like the project name and I'm gonna make it regular. Super cool. Now what I can do is left click and go to the AI now. And what I want to do is go to AI layout and I can actually add the auto layout. So AI will go in and create a whole bunch of different auto layouts. So it will make one for the tags, the box on the outside and everything in between. So you can see once I click on it, we've got the rectangle. So I'm going to call this card and then we've got um, this one. We'll go project project tag and date tag. And so we can see there's a layout for the whole card. Then this one has an auto layout as well. You can see, so we can adjust all the space there. You know, if you hold Alt and Shift, it will adjust all the spacing, which is cool. And then there's an auto layout for the date tag as well. 
So you can see there, it went in. I didn't have to go select and do it all myself. I just have to select the group of objects and the AI did it all by itself. So I'm gonna go ahead and add an image for my portfolio. I'm gonna left click on the card, go down to the fill section and click on the fill. And we wanna change the menu from solid to image. You can also add gradients, which is cool. So you can play around with that if you like. But I'm gonna click image and then I'm gonna click select image and I'm gonna go find um, a recent image from a project. Boom, there we go, got that cool logo there and it loads it right into the card. Once you're happy with your portfolio card, your final one, you wanna select this, and then you wanna to go to the top left corner and click on AI and click AI reduplication. The shortcut key is D. Now, this is one of my favorite tools to use because it's a massive time saver. You can see you've got this cool arrow in the bottom there, um, and you'll get like this purple highlight around the card. All you gotta do is get this um, arrow and just drag out, and it'll start to automatically reduplicate and generate that first card so you can see in the bottom it says reduplicating what it's going to do is going to use ai to um, add images in and add their details so you can see there it's generated all these images which is super cool looks awesome and it's copied the text and it's also made sure that the dates change as well so you've got like 2026 2027 2028 so it understands um the dates there and obviously we can go in here and we can customize things so i can go change the image you know, to whatever we want. Um, you can adjust the exposure, the contrast, saturation, temperature. You know, you can do a, a whole bunch of different things, which is super cool. So it's really awesome. I love these features with the uh, images there. And we can also double click and edit these little details once again. So maybe we want this like, you know, 2024 or something. And you can change that text so this tool is really amazing uh, i can select all this all of them together and then you can see you'll get the little purple bar and then i can add some padding in between so maybe we've got like 50 pixels and we can also add some pixels on the side so maybe 25 pixels um, in between and that's how you create that it's super cool and it's a massive time saver so i'm just going to go ahead and i'm going to upload uh, my portfolio images and then i'll come back to you Cool, there we have it. I quickly updated the images really fast and really easily. And then I can obviously go in here and change the names. So I can call this drop shadow and it will, because it's in auto layer, it'll adjust the size of the tag there. And so I can obviously go in there and change all the text, which is cool. Now, I just want to quickly make the nav bar. I'm going to go ahead and add the auto layout to this, change the fill and we can say I'll go ahead and add some auto layout to this and you can see it added the auto layout, which is cool. And I'm just gonna, you can see the spacing here, it's not hugging it. So I'm gonna click on the text, go to the right hand side, instead of fixed width, I'm gonna change the hug contents. So then it hugs the text and I'll do the same for all of that. So now it's a bit more cleaner. And I can select all that. I'm gonna shift click inside of that group on the text and I wanna change it to, we'll go semi bold. And I wanna give it some actual letter spacing. So we'll go one letter spacing there. Cool, so we're just keeping this really clean and I wanna align it to that. Cool, it's looking good so far. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to make a button. So I'm gonna draw a button here.
Now, once we have our button, I can select this and I can right click and we can actually create a component. The shortcut's Control Alt K. So that's a component and I can set this card and we can create that card as a component too. So now we've got components. So in your assets tab, you can see I got local components on the desktop. I can drag the buttons here and you can see we've got the tag as well. So I can reuse these for any situation. I can hold like alt and like duplicate that. So here's our design so far. I did make a mobile version as well. You can see it's all responsive using that AI auto layout. As you can see here, everything fits nicely. And it looks pretty good. Now I want to show you one of these cool tools they have in the AI section in the Motive Lab. And you can actually generate UI, which is really cool with a simple prompt. So I'm going to click AI generates UI. You'll get a box pop up. Now what if we wanted to generate our own portfolio version, maybe a different version. Um, you want to be descriptive and clearly label the section. So I'm going to say a portfolio website with a light background casing brand design work uh, with the following sections. I'm just gonna label the sections. Cool, so we can do this and I'm gonna click generate. Now at the moment, it currently only works for mobile UI, but in the future, they're gonna make it work for desktops as well as they're growing the features. And so it's pretty fast. You just gotta wait a little bit and it will start to generate um, the UI and then we can actually start to play around with it and customize it. Boom, and there we have it. So you can see we've got the two pages here. It's got the, it says Jeremy's portfolio. You can see it's got like the little mobile icons, which is cool. We can go through, it's got case studies, it's got services here, which looks good. Nice card design there. Uh, about Jeremy, we've got the FAQs contact and then a footer with the follow me button and the social icons really cool and then it's given us um, a secondary page here different version which is cool I like how it gives you two versions and then you got Jeremy's portfolio and you can obviously see this is like a AI generated image in the back but you can you know we can change them out and stuff um, but for now you can see uh, we've got these uh, elongated cards here that fills the space services about Jeremy and FAQ so you can see it's pretty robust. It's pretty good with the giving your foundation and you can build off it. You know, we can go in here and, um, you know, start to change the colors and play around with that. Now what we can do is we can actually go to the AI tool and we can go AI design system creator. So you want to use this not for simple designs, but you want to use it when you're building like full products and apps. That's when it's going to work the best or else it won't work, work properly. So because I've generated um, these here, you can see it's got like, you know, buttons and icons and um, different elements. It, it should be able to work. So we're going to go AI design system. I'm going to go to my team project and select the draft I'm working on. And it's going to recognize those assets from that UI we just created. And it should create a whole design system for us automatically so I don't have to do it myself. Boom, now you can see that it gives a tick and it says recognize and complete, which is cool. And it's detected um, the layers. I'm gonna click view now and it should take me to the page. So once you got the results, you can zoom in here and we can see it tells you just like a, a little bit of onboarding. But if you go to the left hand side, you can see in the pages section, I'll drag this down. It's generated all those colors. So all the colors you saw on the mobile UI, it has it right here. So we've got all the colors and we can go ahead and change the fill if you want, if you wanna change that specifically. So we've got colors, we've got the types, so the fonts. You can see those fonts that we added the field jar one that we changed at the very last second. You can see it's out of that and it's got the size, the weight, which is super nice. I love how it's just cleanly laid out. And the cool thing about this is it tells you how many times it's used. So you can see it says used three times. That means the amount of titles in that uh, design, how many times it's used in the headings or whatever text that's being used there. So that's pretty cool. We've got the icons. So all those social icons there, and obviously we can change the colors if you want, customize it, cause it's just pixels or SVG. And I love that. Then we've got the buttons. We can customize this, you know, whatever we want. We can change the colors. We've got the list as well. So we've got this like nice list card input for the FAQ. So that's pretty amazing. That's that's basically Motif um, in a GIF. And obviously, you know, you can play around with the, Design system maintainer and consistency checker and you can play around with a whole bunch of different things in the file. And then once you're all done, you can just go to the top right, click share and you can put your client's email or maybe you have another designer you're working with. You can change the view um, access 
You can get the link as well. So I can copy this link and then paste it and they should be able to get access to the file just like that. And you can see there's two of me, but at the top it will show their profile. So it's pretty straightforward. It's pretty cool. You can go into dev mode as well, but I'm not going to go through that. And you can also press the play button and it will give you a preview of the site. Obviously, I didn't prototype anything, but you can see the site in action as you can see there. Super easy to use. And yeah, that's Motif for you. If you do want to try Motif, I'll put a link in the description below but it's completely free. You can try it out. They have a free version or if you want the pro version, it's only like $4 a month, which is like 10 times less than Figma. So it's a lot cheaper alternative and it basically does the same thing and even more with the AI toolbox that it has. So definitely try it out. Give it a go. If you're looking for a new alternative design tool to a Figma, I think you'll really like it. Oh yeah, check it out. I'll put the link in the description below. Cheers. If you want to get some other web design resources, you can actually check this video here where I go through a bunch of web design inspiration sites that you can use for your next project.